Damn it. Why the hell are they going back to where they know two are on site? Yeah. My name is Jules. I'm a Radiant player. If you're enjoying this type of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. If you're interested in coaching yourself or want a chance to win free coaching, be sure to watch the end of the video for details. Other than that, enjoy the video. Hey, what's up? Sorry, I was watching the stream, so there was a delay. I'm oh, you're good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm chilling. Sorry for, for being super late. So if you can, send me your, your tracker. We'll take a yeah, look at it and see how it looks. Okay, so currently gold two or gold one? Gold two? I'm gold one, actually. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, okay. And who have you been maining lately? Reyna, but mm -hmm. for the sake of not being a one trick, mm -hmm. I forced myself into chamber and then after chamber, it's a lot of sage and sky. I don't want to rely on util to be a decent player. Like, I want to focus on aiming. No, that's fair. That's fair. I am noticing a bit of difference so like yeah we have like brim we have sage sky viper uh reyna jet we're kind of like everywhere right we're playing like almost every agent i don't think you have to rely on your utility because your reyna stats are actually insane 175 damage per round even though we don't have the highest win rate it, that could be like an overheating issue or something else entirely, but we are winning our gunfights, right? Like that's for sure. So just because something isn't working doesn't necessarily mean it's the agent, right? It could just be like a fundamental thing, a position stuff. So if you're really liking Reyna, keep playing Reyna, right? Just whatever you enjoy playing, I would limit your agents to like two to three, especially considering we don't have much time to play. So it's better to play on an agent we're comfortable with and you're not thinking about like shooting and your utility and, you know, am I playing this agent right you know the kind of thing and you get to focus strictly on your gun control because you're used to that agent all right yeah so share your screen Man. let's let's yeah, get into it i was a one trick reina and i still Man. am i still love reina i play reina even on my main so if anyone ever yeah. says oh my god reina's not viable i'm playing her in immortal 3 rating lobbies and i have like a 57 percent win rate so it's very yeah. viable viper b they have two smoke agents yeah interesting Okay. Safe. It was a safe play. I like that. She was main. Yeah, I don't know. Harbor is so much fun to play with and against. You just can see so much of the map with him. All right, I'm throwing. I'm buying a Vandal. Oh, the Vandal light armor. Oh, no. Okay. okay. <laughs> Fine. I can go Guardian. I actually like the Guardian if I can hit my shots. Yeah, the, the biggest thing is just light shield. I'm not a big fan of like light shield on, on second round. Oh, so. fair, 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 yeah. Because if you die to like a sheriff one shot, then it's tough. Got it. Oh. Favorite Bunkai. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Where's last? Does anyone know where she is? Wait, this person's pretty good mid. for being gold. Have her. It's fine. There we go. Let, nice job. Good round. Pretty you're playing pretty well. Dead. Yeah, no, actually, yeah. I, I think you're playing very well, especially for this being gold. No, uh, that, that was a good round. Very good round. Only thing I would have done differently, I would have overhealed. Even though you're down only 25 HP, I still, I grab an overheal. If you get an opportunity like that again, yeah, just definitely try and overheal for that 150. Yeah, okay. Other than that, though, sick rounds. Peek me. Nope, okay. Wall here, B. Coming in. Yeah. I'm lagging. All right. I'm giving them sight. Okay, I don't mind this play. They're on this site. player they is pretty site. good for being gold, dude. Like the movement, decision making, actually pretty good. Like scaling up with the wall. I like the patience here. Man, I, I really can't see anything. You're good, you're good. Wow, your team actually oh, popped off here. The decision making there was it was good, right? Like, you, you were by yourself on site. You're at a gun disadvantage. You're like, I'm just going to play retake. You threw your flash so you can fall off retake with your team. So that was really good. I'm going to push up elbow this round. Can someone hold main, please? There. Mid. Lot mid. That's three. I don't know where the fourth is, which is why I'm nervous. Yeah. Both doors. Two both, both doors. doors, yeah. You have no flash. Nice. Oh, on the clat. Nice. I like this. I like this play. I love going aggressive elbow like that as Rena. You get one kill, you just, just, just dismiss back into the tunnel, right? I really do overheat, though. So then I try to get, like, this angle, and then I'm like, what if I can clear me? Yeah, main? that's yeah. grief, right? That, so that's when it becomes grief. A big rule of thumb is, like, after getting one, you should just try and reposition. Like, yeah. that's strategically how you're going to win a lot more rounds, especially in higher yeah. ranks. Get yeah, one exactly. kill, reposition, fall off play with your team. Because a 5v4 should be, like, a, a game winner, but you... 
you push too much, and then it's a 44. 44, and, and now you gotta rely on your team. Exactly. Backside. So I would throw that in the air. Can we, can we break the eye, please, Silva? All right. Yeah, it was tough. He was too close to the angle to do that. I would highly recommend, though, with your flashes, throw them up in the air. Why does everybody nice in crouch? Hold, 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 hold. And after I say that, I instant crouch. Yeah, it looks like playing lineups. Nice. Good round. Oh my god. What is happening? Oh, we should be going with her. Uh... Okay, one thing too that I'm noticing is a lot of yeah. times we're, we're kind of repositioning in a way that we're we're not really getting to play off of our teammates. Like, I think we were initially in a good spot there with our harbor because we are we can go with our harbor. I trade out our harbor. But after you fell off, played half wall, now it's like it's two 1v1s um, sure. and you guys are down numbers, so it's hard to play off of each other. So I guess like the biggest thing is like if you see your teammates pushing in, taking space, try and push in with them to try and trade them out. Oh heal, nice. Oh my god. Ooh. All right, good round, good round. One thing to do, after you get your first kill and you're overhealing, just wait a little bit before you start swinging again because you're, you're kind of swinging while you're in that animation. I panicked because I heard somebody like right here. And mm. so I immediately thought I need to kill him. But yeah, you're 100% you're right. Also, I, I probably would have bought a There was Vandal one elbow, here, but... could be flanking. Oh, one sight, one sight, one sight on the yeah. right. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. You're good, you're good. You can play close here, wait for the rotate. And they go B. I'm not gonna repeat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We got it, let's go B, let's go B. Uh, could definitely Don't be one B. The rain. Damn it. Why the hell are they going back to where they know two are on site? Yeah. I mean, it is, it's definitely a mistake from your teammates to do that, but at the same time, don't, don't get too caught up with what they're doing, right? Uh, Cause then they, it's going to start affecting our gameplay. I, I feel like if we weren't too focused on our teammates there, we would have been able to kill that Viper for sure. Overhealed, we popped yeah. our ult, we can still win that, right? Very nice. One more. Nice shot. He's main, he's main, Harbor. Our spike is going B. He's mid, he's mid. Nice. Yeah, Chamber kind of griefed that going B, but all good. It was a good round. I think we pop our ult here. Yeah. You might have to jump down and start wrapping them. Nice. Fuck. On the bomb, on the bomb, on the bomb. Yeah. I know he's on bomb, but it's not planted for me, and I think Omen's mid. Oh, no, he's not. Yeah, so in that situation, like, after we get the kill on the Reyna, we need to start scaling up quick, right? The bomb, So we know that the bomb's not planted for us. We have to start scaling, right? Like, uh, and and yeah. moving up there. Because the second they start tapping, we have to run in, and they could be faking it, yeah, they, nice. and they peek us, and we're holding W. It's tough. Nice shot. Yeah, I think you knife out go B. Knife out go B. I'm scared of elbow. Uh, I doubt it. I think this guy is going to be like half wall, maybe. I'm planning for man. I'm planning for man. Now, this jet could be could be elbow. Blanking you main, but I don't know. Yeah. I would just jump around for info. Yeah, exactly. CT, CT, you heard of McDonald's. No. He knows where I am, which I really don't like. I like this. You're good. Yeah. Off. He doesn't sick this. No, I doubt it. Okay, I bought it. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're chilling. Yeah, I liked it. So you you came to the same realization. Realization. You're like, oh, Jet knows where I am. So then you started reposition. And the second you started repositioning there on the left side, I was like, okay. And he wasn't there on the left side. I was like, oh, you won this. This is uh, yeah. this is like for certain. And the idea is like because he knows that you were on site, he wasn't gonna stick that the first time. So the idea was correct. Yeah. One flank. Oh, uh, swing. Yeah. Someone's shooting. <laughs> yeah, she whiffed all of her shots. Come here. Okay. Okay, so this round, we knew that there was one flanking. We saw a guy. We had one of our teammates walk down um, cave, but then we stopped going. We stopped. We, yeah. we left her by herself, so we weren't able to trade that kill, right? I think that's one yeah. of our biggest issues, is making sure that we're going with our teammates when they're swinging, so then we can trade them. I think trading is like a big thing that we, um, we're struggling with right now. Uh, uh, nice shot. Wow. We were just giving up H site. This last round. Yeah. Under you, under you. Oh, wow. Okay. I was in that angle. All right. Solid, solid. All right. Let me share my screen and go over some stuff that'll help you out. All right. Sometimes, like, I I'm noticing, like, 
the big issue that I mentioned before, it's it's so much like that we have to go with our teammates and push in with our teammates. Yes, re yeah. repositioning is good sometimes, but it's super, super crucial that we're with our teammates. Like if they're pushing up this way, we're not going to yeah. hold here. We need to go with our teammate. And so we're there. The second he starts shooting, we're there to trade, right? And get the trade kill and get value out of that. Because a lot of the times I'm noticing our teammates are dying and we're not there to get that trade kill, right? Here was a prime example. You knew one was flank. We had our teammate who was going back cave and we, we like, we're like, oh, okay, they got the flank. And then you wanted to go back towards here. But the idea should just be like, I'm going to go with my teammate. We're going to clear the flank together. And now we go back towards A and hold it if we need to, right? Doing things a little bit more together is like the biggest thing. Just like going with our teammates. If they, if you see them fighting, you want to fight with them. You want to swing, get their trade. And then we reposition, right? So it's like, if you have a teammate who wants to go aggressive mid, you can go aggressive mid with them. Maybe we flash for them. They swing, yeah. they die, you get around, you, you come around the corner, you get the trade, and then you dismiss. And then you can reposition it and then go wherever. So that's like something that you should focus a little bit more on. Sometimes I'm noticing that we're doing things a little bit too fast in the sense that like, sometimes we should be a little bit more patient, right? And our decision making to fall off sometimes and give up sight is good. Now it shouldn't always be the case to give it up, but yeah. if you notice that there's no one close to you, like you're on B site and the next person, they have four people on A, yeah, we're gone. I'm, I'm dipping, right? We're gonna hold this. We're going for one. I'm gonna dismiss and we're gonna leave. And that's 100% the case. But if we have another person on site, doing this play obviously is not beneficial, right? We would probably go for one here. And maybe we just go back site here and, and play with our teammate and, and actually find on site. We're using our ults correctly. Whenever it's up, basically, you should be using it. Uh, before yeah. action so you're doing that pretty well cursor placement is decent our peaks are good gun control is good uh so uh, okay a couple things too is that i'm starting to notice is we get distracted by our teammates a little bit too much we we're putting too much energy and focus on our teammates and i think that that can definitely bring us down in the sense that we're not going to be focusing on the game as much as we should be or focusing on our own performance as much as we should be you're going to run into people who make really bad mistakes they do it all the time right but the biggest thing is like if you are focusing on their mistakes and how bad they're playing that's you know just like that i'm not thinking about my crosshair place i'm not thinking about like taking this fight i'm not yeah. thinking about the things that i should be doing because i'm focusing too much on that you know you could definitely calm for your teammate hey guys we should be playing it this way blah 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 and so on and so forth and then if they don't listen right that's whatever um but we yeah. you have to always just be thinking how do i salvage this how do i salvage this how do i make this winnable how do i close out the round for our team you just have to be thinking more so like adapting rather than uh pointing fingers because the sure. second you start pointing fingers it it stops you like from thinking and playing the game but it's like if, if you're constantly adapting off of their mistakes you're still playing you're still focused on on what you should be doing so it can swing games so some games you might notice that you're popping off and then some games you're going to notice okay i didn't do so well even though you you feel like you've been playing well all day but it's just like a, a small little mental adjust adjustment that impacts your gameplay drastically if i'm yeah, actually absolutely. trying to focus on the game um and i'm not streaming then i'm like okay i i really just i'm focused on like what's going on like let's say i have three three people a site we have a site my chamber's running up through tunnel on b yeah. and i'm like yo chamber we have a site and he's still doing it i'm like okay uh where, where could this viper be and i'm like i'm just thinking you know i'm not really saying anything i'm not really reacting but yeah that's that's the right approach that's how you should be handling a lot of these situations and you'll notice you win a lot more games doing that so swinging and trading our teammates that's a big one that's also a very big one scaling up sometimes you know when we have that pressure this was like a little minor detail sova's ulting i'm i'm pushing with a sova because they have to dodge the sova while they're dodging the ult you get a free kill so this is the, yeah. this is the sort of advantage that you can get when they have pressure on them like that and our flashes our flashes should always have a purpose to them flashes are so bad yeah so yeah. sometimes like i'm noticing we're giving up b site and then you do this and you throw this flash and then you just chill here so yes it does delay them but what's the delay for you know what i'm saying like it, it brings no value you delayed them for like 0.5 seconds the guy's still getting the bomb down they just shoot the gun that's it it doesn't take much out of them so you what you want to do is just save your utility you guys are going to retake now that everyone here your whole team is here well now we throw our flashes and i'm throwing them like this like this and i'm going to use this time with the flashes to scale up so it would be like i'm i'm going to flash once like this maybe i flash again like this and then we're going and boom, just like that, I've taken space. 
and I am back sight now. And now it's like I have a lot of pressure that I can add on the enemy team with my team as well. So that's a lot more value than just throwing one, them shooting it, and you're still stuck in half fall, right? So yeah, yeah. that's just something that um, I've noticed. Okay, so overheating. Overheating is something you definitely do a lot. Uh, and, and I noticed it, right? It's like you're in a 5v2 or 5v3, 3v3, 3v2. You're up numbers and you're still looking, you know, to take these fights. And in Alter Universe, this omen swings you and kills you and then wins the round yeah. so what you should be doing is like if i'm up numbers unless you have a really good timing and they don't know that you're here like let's say they're fighting back sight from here to like half wall or something and you, you hear that maybe you can go for a quick peek and then get the kill and then dismiss but you should not be the first point of contact you shouldn't just be like holding this and waiting for them when you're up numbers like this it's just a lot smarter to kind of play off your teammates play off of your timings or you could even just hold the cross as they're swinging yeah. right maybe they play off your contact so the idea is just like if you have a guy backside here he's playing off your contact the second you guys shoot he swings he gets the trade if you do die boom if you know where they are but they don't know where you are that's an advantage we take those advantages yeah. if you are holding this angle you don't know where they are. They don't know where you are. And then it's just whoever swings and practices the aim labs more. That's not an advantage. That's a coin flip. Does that make yeah. sense? So avoid coin flips altogether. You always play the advantage. All, all the little tiny advantages, right? It's more like, you know, the advantage of you know where they are. They don't know where you are. We have a guy back sight. They're taking a gunfight and they're distracted. That's another advantage. You have the angle advantage on them. That's another one. So it's like all these little things, they start stacking up, but it gets yeah. thrown away if we're just sitting here coin flipping. So Man. that's the difference that I want to kind of just like, you know, bring bring to an attention. Avoid these like so, sort of coin flip aim duels and focus more on stacking up these advantages so you know you just come to rounds where you just like win strictly off of these percentages and your aim could suck like it happens to me all the time i will whiff an entire clip on someone who's like aiming back sight and i just whiff and then eventually i kill him but it's like yeah. who cares if my aim sucks i my positioning my timing all of that just won me the rounds because yeah. you know I, I stacked up these advantages so those three was like the big thing so it was like the mental trading your teammates when they're taking space we want to go take space with them and trade them there was also overheating those things if you i'm telling you if you like if you fix all those things i mentioned you will start skyrocketing because your mechanics are not at a gold level they are at least yeah at least the plat at least if not higher diamonds probably so mechanic wise is good it's just about fixing those little things i think so you think like i could actually get out of gold yeah absolutely <laughs> i would be surprised if you don't get out of gold within the next couple weeks if you're interested in coaching yourself click the link in the description Click the book a lesson button and select your planning time. So if you want to win free coaching, be sure to comment down below your Discord name without the hashtag and what you learned from the video. I'll be picking out a person randomly.